Okay, New Zealand, this is for, well, for you, for you and the community. A uh, quick test run with my uh, SS9. Uh, so I have this uh, GoPro setup. It's not ideal, it's a bit wobbly. I hope it will pick up and I don't know what the closest focusing distances of it, so I hope it will pick it up. But I'll uh, keep an eye on the screen as well so that I at least have uh, an idea of what happened. It's currently at 95%, which is perfect. I need it to be on this screen, so the top number it's an SS9, so 200 Newton meters is the maximum. And for the kilowatts, 80 is the maximum on my bike. Uh, I should reach 100, which I can do legally on, on that road there. And I will do so at, uh, well, I need to put it on uh, sport mode, of course. Because otherwise, I, yeah, when, when, when going, when getting here, well, when getting here, I noticed that, that the maximum output I got was like uh, 49, so just uh, below 50 kilowatts which is not even close to the... and I wasn't urban, I just checked I wasn't urban, so... Yeah, I need to put this one on record. Is it recording? The bat full battery recording? Yeah. Now the orientation might be messed up. Well, we'll see in, uh, in edit what happens. So, um, ready to go? We'll see. I'm curious. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll do it for... just like New Zealand did, so I'll do it for 95. 90, 85 and so on. So I just finished the first uh, tests and um, at 95% I have uh, 77 kilowatts um, at the most. So I'll, uh, I'll continue my test. I'll write that down already. I'm at 91% for the moment. So I'll soon be able to test the 90% numbers. my gloves yeah I'll figure that out later but uh, I did uh, for now I did the test uh, for uh, 95 uh, 90 85 and 80 so I'm dropping now and uh, it has been limited to 76 kilowatt for all those percentages uh, I'll, um, I'll continue testing uh, don't don't watch the uh, average or the range at the left and so on because I'm I'm doing my best to drain the battery as fast as possible just for this test of course uh, but uh, next will be the 75% uh Okay, so I, I already dropped to uh, 63%, so even at 65 I did the test again. And you can see on the, on the graph, I just switched to the graph view, you can clearly see here I, I spiked, uh, so I did a test, here I got a spike, so I did another test. And I'm just um, continuing, I still have 76 kilowatt output that I had um, at the beginning of my test. Uh, no, I think at 95% at I had 77 kilowatt. But then uh, it dropped to 76, so I think it's been around 76 all the time. It's not that warm, it's uh, 14 degrees Celsius, so maybe that also um, counts or uh, makes a difference. But it makes sense, uh, these bikes, the SS9, the Ego, the Rebel and so on, from my understanding, they all use the same components. So the difference is really is in, um, is in the software and the implementation. I, I believe the Rebel and the Echo has, has uh, 107 kilowatts peak power. They, they have to drop that number sooner to spare the battery and the motor or whatever that cannot handle. I think it's probably the battery that, that needs to be limited in output, not to damage it when the voltage, voltage goes down. I'm even uh, opening up um, everything to catch more wind to slow well not to slow it down but to uh to to, to drain the the battery so the average consumption currently is at 17.4 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers so that's quite a high consumption number and i have only range left 
with over half the battery. I have 63% battery left and my range is only uh, 56 kilometers, <laughs> which is great for my test, of course, but not so great for um, uh, days that you, well, it's a nice day. It's 14 degrees, yeah, that's probably about right, but uh, I'll continue testing. Yeah, so the first uh, limitation on output uh, just occurred at uh, when I dropped to 55%. 76 kilowatt was reduced to 74 kilowatt. So that's the first uh, reduction. Now it's getting interesting. Ah. <laughs> if I knew this, I, I could have started testing at 60% instead, but I uh, will continue. Currently going below 30%, and at 30%, I still had uh, 73 kilowatt uh, available. So, uh, the, if I remember, the, the bar is uh, orange right now. All right, so I um, my GoPro died. Well, it didn't die, but the battery uh, is empty, so it's not, it's no longer recording. But I did see on the screen that uh, at 25% uh, the output again dropped to, it was uh, 63 kilowatt at that point. Yeah, it was jumping around between 63 and 64, but it seems to uh, always be um, around one kilowatt uh, jumping around. Uh, but uh, it was uh, most of the time 63 kilowatt at 25 battery left. Then at 20 battery percent left, I also still had 63 kilowatt output and uh, at 15 percent left, it dropped again to 49 uh, kilowatt output. So then it uh, dropped to 49. I'll uh, test again in sport mode just to have the final number, but uh, I'll see uh, where I get. But uh, I might test it at 5 percent as well, just by switching again. But uh, it's all uh, on the way home, so I'm not sure if I can uh, test uh, at those speeds on my way home. I'll have to see if I can do it in a safe way. But so far, um, I have my number. I'll, I'll put the numbers in the Excel sheet and, uh, well, no, in the Google sheet, in the Google spreadsheet, and then I'll share it as well.